Hello, everyone. Uh, my name is Ephraim Katsir, and on behalf of Sephardic Heritage International in DC, or Shin DC, welcome to our Learn to Chant the Torah webinar series, class number five of seven, with instructor Isaac Toyhers, who bestows this class upon us live each Sunday from the UK. Here's Isaac. Hi, hi. sorry about it slightly. We just um, wanted to uh, wait for the crowd to, uh, the crowd to assemble. Um, so we're going to start off with some revision, again, similar to last week, and then jump into um, the what I'd say is the last sort of big phrase of marks, the last big group of marks that we're going to teach it. Week five out of seven, we're nearing, nearing the end now. So this, um, the marks we're doing today are a little more complicated melodically than the ones we're doing so far. Um, but they, they all lead into each other in a nice one big phrase. So um, we'll learn them all as one phrase, and then we'll, as usual, bring the sheet up and sort of break them down word by word. But we'll start just with a bit of revision. Um, so if I share my screen and yeah, here's the sheet. Okay. Let yeah, me just make it so I can see you all as well. So uh, as usual in section one, we have everything that we have seen so far. And now I'm, we're not going to do like going around um, now, but please do be sort of reading these out yourself as I do and trying the marks yourself. I want to see see mouths moving even if I can't can't hear you. So 1.1, we just have our basic, um, our most basic phrase. Um, B'Tselem Elohim Boa Otto. We're just going, this is what we did in the first week, just talking about what we had for dinner last night and then always going home, going up and down in this very similar way and always finishing on the home note on our atna or sof pasok. Um, then if we have a zakef karton, our quarter mark, the phrase before that is a little wider. In shape, and we go. Hi to the middle, low, and then back home, and it's always followed by our more basic phrase. So that's our bread and butter. Again, if we don't have, if we only have one of these two marks of, um, that we have on our show, and I, we end up with Anochi Adonai Elohecha, Anochi Adonai Elohecha. So a bit different because here we had Ashim Al Adonai, we went down on this mark, but now we're going up on it, Anochi Adonai Elohecha. So that's all our bread and battles as well. Now, off then in, I want to say, Week four, we did our first melodic mark. Um, Uma adds, Uma adds, we are a little diamond adds. Ada, this one annoyed everyone. Ada, tov vowa, Uma adds, Ada, tov vowa. Uh, last week, we did another set of melodic marks, one that normally come in pairs. Vayikra Adam, Shem Ishto Hava, Lai, 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 And sometimes we have them on, our, on their own as well. Ki, Ki, Hai, Ta, Em, Kol, Hai, Ki, this is something we actually skipped over last week, but I want to draw your attention to it. So we have a vav here, which would suggest the word who, um, but we have a chalik under the hey, and we say it he. Now, this isn't just a quirk of Hebrew. This is a quirk of the Torah specifically. Is there's lots of who's. It's the difference here between who and he is gender. Who is, is in the masculine, he is in the feminine. And... In, on the, the clough, as in on the scroll of Torah, there's lots of places where you have hey, vav, anef, and you just need to remember whether it's actually a, a who or a he. 
because without the chiwik, you'd actually have no way of knowing. So this is just this is a quirk specifically of of of, of Torah that it's um, not written how we would expect to say it. Um, so you need to, um, yeah, that is an annoyance when memorizing portions. But if anyone was looking at this valve wondering what it's doing there, it's fine. It's weird that it's there, and it's just a thing that happens. Ki hi ta em kol hai. And then the same melody as our, our daga, we have zaka here. Vaya yosef hi tam. And we pause at the top. And we go down, et ben yamin, vaya vaya yosef hi tam. Et ben yamin, et ben yamin. And this is what I was talking before about. A similar melody, but a little more dramatic. Last time we skipped a little over what to do when we have something like this preceding Zaka. I wanted to hear, now we've got everything we've done so far next to each other, compare it to 1.3. Because we have Anochi, Adonai Elohecha. And you can kind of think of this as a, a bit like a, a... Simplified is the wrong word. Hoid version of that, like... Kind of what I meant when I was saying last week, this isn't the focus, just get past it to hit. So if you take Anochi, Adonai, Elohecha, and sort of blow it together, Anochi, Adonai, Elohecha, Vaya Yosef Itam, Vaya Yosef Itam, is at least, I guess, a way to think about it, but it is weird. And these are different marks. It's the syllable placement that's the difference. You use this at the end here and this in the middle here. Um, you know, as distinct from here, where we had our, our Kadmon move back to the middle, we had two of them, Tarei Kadmin. But here, when it's called Nazla instead, it's just in the back. Um, that was all very quick fire, um, because it was all revision. Um, but I don't want to have skitted too quickly over something that's still troubling anyone. Is there anything in one? This anyone wants me to take another look at or explain again before we go into what's new this week. Cool. Then um, let's stop sharing. I'll go into this week's new phrase. So as I said, this is a little more um, melodic, I guess you'd say, but it's also Pretty, it's gorgeous. So like, enjoy getting to sort of sing a melody as well. Um, so I'm gonna just sing slowly uh, this series of mocks that we're gonna do today. So the end of that should have sounded familiar. I'm going to sing what I just sang a couple more times, just as a group, so you get used to hearing the whole phrase. And then I'm going to break it down, working backwards. As Okay, let's break it down now. So we know if we were to take Ravia and sort of approach it from above is the way I like to think about this. Um, so the this mark ends with Rabia, it, it often precedes Rabia, and it ends with something that's the same as Rabia. It's called Azlagaresh, it's a pair of marks. So we're gonna land on Rabia. Azlagaresh, Azlagaresh. I'll loop this, sing it, sing it with me until you feel like you've got the hang of it. Azlagaresh. As Lagerash, the two of them together. As Lagerash, Ravia. 
As Lagerash, sometimes it's embellished like that. As Lagerash, Ravia. You also, as you know, I'll wait for, I'll wait to wait for the sheet in front of us for that. Um, does anyone want to try singing just those two to the Hebrew? To their names, I mean. As Lagerash, Ravia. Couple people want to. Lily? Oh, so you, I thought you were. As Langora. Oh, I forgot. Sorry. I forgot the actual names of the. No, no, that was right. As Lagerash. As Lagerash, and then the next one's. Really da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. And then it's followed by a Ravia, which is the same as the last bit. It's not always followed, to be fair, but in the phrase we're learning. Um, anyone else want to have Monique, was that a hand from you? Go ahead. Right. Um, so we're gonna go uh, like sort of working backwards. So the pair um, the pair that was at the beginning of this phrase, the first one of these is um, probably the most ornamented of the um, regularly occurring marks. Um, Pazé. Pazé is a, unlike before where we've had pairs, um, Pazé is a disjunctive, not a conjunctive, i.e. it's a splitty word, even though it's the first of a pair, and it just starts off a phrase with, there's something big. Um, so we have a... Pazé, big declamatory. I'll do it a few more times and sing it with me until you get that. Pazé, Pazé. And it's followed by um, Tetzah, Tetzah, Pazet, Tetzah, as Lagarash, Ravia. Pazet Tetzah Pazet Tetzah Does anyone want to have a go at just those two? Pazet Tetzah Daniel, is that a hand from you? Um, sure. Maybe if we jump into doing it with English then, I thought it might um, or do we want to st start doing it with English or should I just sing it like a bunch more times? Can we just have it a bunch more times? Thank sure, you. Sure. It's always at this end. I feel like I've done it a million times, but yeah. Um, so, so do just shout whenever you need something more. There's a few more. Pase Tetsan. What I'm going to start doing now is I'm going to leave a blank in between each one so that we do repeat after me. I won't be able to hear you, but so that you're doing it without being able to hear me. Because if you're always doing it and listening to me, you're not actually learning it. So I'm just going to, the sound, you're going to think my mic's broken. It hasn't. I'm going to do it and then mouth it and then do it. Pase Tetsa Pase Tetsa
Azatet And now without hands. Pazetet At least for me, this is like a sort of weird out of body experience where I can see my zoom frame and it looks like it's someone else's zoom frame because it's, it's mouthing and I can't hear it. So I feel like I've got a doppelganger across the world who's, who I'm on zoom with. Um, all right, anyway, um, let's move to English now. So we're going to do something a little similar. Do we remember last, was it only a week ago, um, we were singing pairs of words. Um, so I was humiliating myself with British food and going fish and chips. We're going to do something very similar now, but this time after you say a pair and you can repeat things from last week, or if you've spent the whole week devising new and witty things to be able to say in the English section of this class, um, you can use new things. Um, say a pair of things and then afterwards say what they are. So if I reuse my old examples, fish and chips. They're a really delicious food that I actually just ate for dinner. Um, what was another pair we had last week? Um, oh, this is actually one we had the week before, but electric lights, they mean I can see in the dark. Oh, I think Lily did that for a bit. Um, <laughs> Um, I, I remember. Um, does anyone have something they want to try? I can do a couple more English things if people are still getting it. Anyone feel up for jumping in? Ah, we have a new face, Myra. Um, Myra, do you want to say say hi? I don't. Is it is it your first week, Myra, or, or have you just had? Yes, yes, I. Um signed up but i just somehow didn't get it on my calendar so um um shavuot tov and shana tova shavuot tov this is i'm sorry if this is slightly in at the deep end if you haven't heard the earlier weeks um correct do do stick around um there's recordings of all the previous classes in the emails um do you know you're getting the emails yes great um, mm -hmm. So, um, do have a look at those afterwards, and I'm going to put my email in the chat as well. Um, and so, if anything, yeah, if you want to afterwards have help catching up, then I'm very happy to to to, to give that time. Um, Thank you. That's what I'm going to do. Great. Uh, and yeah, do 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 stick around now, even if it's uh, um, a bit a bit of your head. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so does anyone want to take this, um, this pair? Um, what's another example? Salt and pepper, they're common condiments to put on your food. You can do non-food related things. I don't know why I always can't be food related things. Um, Ellie, I can do to... something extremely unoriginal, i.e. just repeat last <laughs> week's. Perfect. Um, um, uh, uh, and I've immediately forgotten the tune. Spanish and Portuguese, they have nice... Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have nice tamims and something. Okay, no, it was really good. Monique, if you say hello. Linda. My son is also on our webinar. Nice, great. Um, uh, yeah, it's fun. It's fun if we've got additional additional students that I didn't know about. That's great. 
Um, anyone else? Daniel, Mikhail? Ah, here we are. Um, You're starting, starting him, I see, very nice. Well, through a sand light bulbs, they are better for your electricity bills. <laughs> Great, amazing. Um, Daniel, I think that leaves you if you're happy jumping in. We're a slightly smaller class this week. Types of construction. General requirements are very hard. Are very hard. Yeah, great. Okay. Uh, yeah, well, correct. That's the only thing I, only thing I was going to say. That's perfect. Um, Naomi, do you, I don't know if you're on the other side of the room. I don't know if you can hear us. Do you want to have a stab as well? Um, sure. Let's see. Um, Fred and George. Fred and George Weasley are the joking twins. I'm trying to work out. You're, yeah, I think you're doing Dargata. You're doing Dargata there, there. Ah, yes. I was just listening to your recording from last week, so that's in my head. Whoops. Yeah. Um, do you, if I sing, um, yeah. Pase to talk to another another go? Yeah, sure. Lie, 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 can you, can I hear just the first half? Because I think I have the second half already. Lie, 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 If names had helped you, um, just the first. second one is, is Talisha by your, um, Pazza, Talisha, Pazza, 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 or does it like I'm afraid your mic's breaking up a little for me. I couldn't really hear the difference. It was quite a lot of stuff. It's just the last note. Yeah. Oops, they cut up. Okay. Okay. Should I? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, What's you want? Fred, 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 and George Weasley are the twins. Who left school? Thanks. Um, all right. Now, is that um, every? Yeah, that's everyone who's gone. Thank you, Naomi. Um, Myra, do you want to have a stab at this, or, or leave it till you're more uh, accustomed? I, I'd rather leave it until I'm more. Sure. No, more it's fine. I, I, if this Thank is. You. Don't worry at all if this is seeming scary. That with all the foundation stuff, it makes a lot more sense. Or at least I hope so. <laughs> um, so we're going to go back to our sheet. Um, so again, we're working backwards here. So our first, wait, actually, I'm going to well, I'm going to start from the end and at least tell you what each, which mark is which team, and then we'll go back and we'll string them together bit by bit. So, pause there. Tertzah, um, Azla, Goesh, Rivia. Actually, I, sorry, I know I just shared this, but I'm gonna actually go watch out because there's something which it would be easier to explain with our, um, with our chart. Uh, so.
Okay. Um, so we have, like I said, Pazer, it's, a, it's the weakest level of conjunctive. It's just decorative, but it is, sorry, weakest level of disjunctive, but it is still a disjunctive. This is still a divide one. Goesh, this is a divide one. But the one that's a little more interesting, so I was calling it Tirtzah, but really it's sometimes it's just because I wanted to just have one word for convenience, but sometimes it's Talsha and sometimes it's Tirtzah in name. Now the tune is the same either way. Anywhere you see a magnifying glass, again, I keep relaying to you silly nicknames. As a kid, I called them all silly nicknames. Anytime you see a magnifying glass, then the melody is die 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 ta ta But what's different between the two different directions of magnifying glass is whether it's a divider or a joiner. So, and and the way that I like to remember this is the handle is pointing in a, in a direction that helps us. Do we remember with our ma'awich and our ta'cha that these two next to each other, they sort of like group two words towards each other. So tzach is the same. Um, and imagine it sweeping all the way through the word, making a little ma'awich through the bottom. So you've got tzach is pointing down towards the next word, so it's joining you to the next word. Tausha is pointing down backwards towards the last word, like uh, like it's going to have a taha coming out its bottom, and so Tausha is joining you to the last word, so it's a divider. Um, so the for tune purposes, you don't need to worry. A magnifying glass is a magnifying glass, but if you're breaking down phrases, then that's a thing that you want to be aware of. Um, now that we have seen our pretty traffic light colors, and those have hopefully helped us, we're gonna go back to our reading sheet. Um, that's, oh, sorry. Okay, great. Um, so, um, pause there. Talsha in this case, because it's pointing back towards Pazer. Azlan Garash, or to put tunes on them. Kol Hashem Nishmatu Achaim Ve'apav Mikol Hashem Bechava Meta. Or the rest of the sentence we'll get to. I we're going to come back to these. I want to do this bit by bit. So we're just going to look at Azlag Um So I'll sing this verse a few times, then we'll, uh, as, yeah, you, all, you all know the drill by now. So again, I think this is like a revere we're approaching from above. I'm doing it slightly different ways because people do vary this a little. Uh, different people do it differently. Some people vary even within their own reading. Um, but it's always a high twiddle coming down onto all of you. This is our does anyone want to try 2.2? And the words, hopefully, you will recognize they are from the Shema. Daniel? Yeah, let me try. Okay. Um, Vihara of Adonai Bachem. Great. Well, well done on, on you finished below the line as you, as you should on very nicely on the, um, what's it called? Tre, Tre Kadmin. Um, da -da -da -ba -ba -ba. So that was great. You want to have gone up on the Vyatsa. Vyatsa, like, um, like, Lechol, and it's Avim. 
Yeah. In the uh, Yerushalmi that I'm used to, it was fine. In the so Yerushalmi used that I'm used to, uh, with Terry Codmine, one doesn't um, do anything different on the uh, Mehupach, d- doesn't uh, say the Mehupach. So I got confused, mm-hmm. yeah. Interesting. Uh, but but Yerushalmi also has that Terry Codmine is a different melody to um, single mm-hmm. Kadma? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's pleasing that that's, um, yeah, that's common. Um, 2.3, does anyone want to do 2.3? Oh, I should see, I should point out about 2.3. It's 2.3, they're the other way around, but each individually is the same. So we have, um, I'll, I'll read with the marks and then someone else can fit to the, this verse. So we have, Holech, Holech, I keep almost reading the word, Holech, Wavia, Azalagaresh. Does someone want to try it to the Hebrew? Lots of lips furi- furiously moving behind muted screens. You're welcome to to do things do things wrong off mute. You don't need to um, be perfect. Is there something specific that somebody wants me to illuminate or point out, or we illustrate, or any other verb? Oh, um, read these couple out a little slower. I'll come back to yourself up above and down onto us, something very similar to a Ravia, and then another Ravia. Ma'o. No, it's not Ma'o. Mehopach, Kadmas, I kept cut on. Oh, something about 2.3. Is everyone just terrified of the, the, Terry Kadmin in the second line. If anyone wants to do just the first line in 2.3, that's fine. No one likes Terry Kadmin. It has no friends. Or is, is it because it's the other way around that, that makes it trickier? I can do like just the first bit. Yeah, great. Uh, um, Vyoma vi- vi- Elohim. Um, you you hamayim. Yeah, that's spot on. Um, Vayome, this could either be done just as on a level as you did, Vayome Elohim, or you could do the Vayome Elohim. You can go down below, but either either works. Um, um, what you did is fine. You just sound unsure, which is why I'm uh, clarifying. And then I'll do the second half here, which is Mitahat Hashamayim El Makom Echad. Sorry, El Makom Echad Hashamayim. Stay on the same note for Holech Echad. Um, yeah. Um, this is not our focus right now. So, um, we now come to this mark, which is called Shnei Gereshin, i.e. two Geresh marks. And it looks, oh no, something new, but it's the same as what we've just done. It's just on one word. So we would do this, 
value, value, oh, value. Had a value in my land. Oh, I shouldn't have read this one out because it's another Shema one, so you guys know the words. Uh, well, I've only read the first line of it. Does someone want to give us 2.4 info? This, this mark is um, just like, and I, I, I'm saying together, it's melody wise, it's a smushed together, it's like, but what's really nice about it is also grammatically. So as we're, I'm always talking about our halves and then our quarters, then our eighths, then our sixteenths, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. As you split down and down and down, if you have a, I'm, I'm pointing at a thing on the screen, you can't see that. Um, yeah, cover, use my mask. This clause that's created with Asla Goesh, this little phrase, if you like grammatically have this whole phrase on a single word, the mark that means that is, is this. So it's both syntax wise the same and melody wise the same. Someone want to take 2.4? Mika? Is that you, Where are you? Have a real Asher, I know, I know him is a very high. Yeah, melody perfect for these. You might just want to put it on the last syllable. I know him is a because that's where the mark is, you see. But the tune for those is perfect. The you, you, you did it just the same as it were via. But the thing that makes it different to a via is you've got this high bit first. So rather than vehayu, vehayu, we come from above. Does that make sense? Vehayu, instead of vehayu. Do you want to do, even if it's just the first line again? Vehayu, avarim ha'ele. Ha'ele. Same as the end of this. Ha'ele. Great. Thanks very much, Mikhail. Um, so I want to do just, so this, this line only has the Shnei Goshim to worry about. Um, and then it's just uh, as I gave Katon phrase, which we know. Um, so I want to have a go just at 2.5 and then we'll move on. I think we'll skip 2.6. Monique, is that you? No, I'm trying to figure out, but uh, actually on 2.4, could you do it again? Because it's, it's uh, confusing because the, the melody of the Shkenazim is so ingrained in our minds here that to, to put those tropes, you know, into this text, it, it, it takes longer than it should. Sure, sure. Um, the, um, the, yeah, I'll, I'll do it a few times. It's not, I, I actually couldn't tell you what Ashkenazi Shnegoshin is. And with me, the harder the, the marks get, the less I have to think about the Ashkenazim because I only know the basic marks with um, with um Vayu 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 I feel like I'm going to be a bit high for some people. I'm going to come down. Where are you? Isaac, does the Tam on, on a share, does it get completely like swallowed into the yeah. next one? So because we've got, um, when we have the Azla followed by most interesting things, if that makes sense. Uh, I mean, yeah, you know, Azla Goesh, we we do, but like otherwise, if it, where you have like a commonly you have asla mehupach kadma, or 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 where you have asla 
dagat veer, um, asla via, you, you just pass over the asla in all those, all those cases. Point um, five. Uh, I can try. Okay. Mm. Mm. So, mm. da, da be, you did the same as with via. Da, da, mm. da be, no, da. Be, da be, da da be, da be. Yeah, great. Um, yeah, okay. We are going to get lots more practice at these, but I want to start, which is why I'm, I'm happy to jump on from it, but I really want to start putting other things before it. So we're going to... Mm, would you, do people think actually it would be easier to do it broken up? Or having learnt it as a pair with Pazet. No, I think I do want to do it broken up. But we might not do all of three before moving on, but let's at least do a couple of three. So um, we are now moving one step backwards in our phrase that we learned at the beginning. Tilsa as lagarash. Oh, actually, sorry, I should be saying because this one's pointing backwards. Talsha as lagarash. Wavia. Talsha. So I want to give 3.1 a go with the words. Ah, or should I do Talsha a few more times if that's given that's the new bit? Tal sha sha. Daniel, you have a go? Ki mehavat adonai et chem. Great. Um, so I want to give 3.2 a try. If not, I want to try and verbalize what's still troubling and I can have a go at breaking it down. Tosha as lagarash. Ki me ki va yeah, great. Uh, and then we break both. Um, ufarashab, I am. Well, let's let's try and focus on this first half for now. I think. Um, someone want to give us three point three? Uh, again, you can just do the first bit because I actually I know I've put lots lots more there, but I actually want to really focus on these first phrases if they're still what's 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 troubling us. It, just the same, just the same as the first two, which which were spot on. Lily, do you want to um, either have sub or talk about what's you 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 you're just looking annoyedly at your screen, and I want to know what's, what's I, I am, I am practicing. Um, I can see, I can see. You're doing some of the very angry expressions. Sorry, I'm, I'm being a bad um, no, no, uh, volunteer. Um, it's not that they are unclear and it's not that I feel unable to sing the marks. It is that I have a very bad memory and I can't remember, I can't line up the memory of the sound, the name and how the symbol mm. looks. Mm. <laughs> so so name, I can see the symbols, but then I can't remember what they're called or the sounds that go with what they're called or the sounds that go with the right. symbol. So um, all those three, the one, to to lose, the one to lose is the names. Like the names is just to help communication in class. But if, like, what you actually need to know to be able to read to, like, I will confess that there are several of the names which I only properly learned 
like for this for this class you only probably need to know the names to communicate to other people what it is you're reading um the so if it will make it easier for you just don't think about the name ever all you're thinking about is shape and melody um so we've now we've now only have 66 percent of the things you previously needed to remember um and then what can i just help with the last 66 percent <laughs> Um, I don't, I think I just need to practice more. Sure. Yeah. Um, Sorry. no, that's, that's fine. Um, do you want to do, um, rather than me making you read it blind, if I like read this phrase and with the words and you repeat it back, or we can do that with one of the phrases that's been read already. Do you want to like try one you've heard? I think he passes You can try that. Um, okay. He passes power. He passes power. Yeah, that's it. That's fun. Um, Try the same thing with 3.1 and then jump to 3.3. So Key. we'll do 3.1 first. Ki me ahavata donai. Ki me ahavata donai. Atrem. That's the only one I do remember because it's the same in Moroccan Tamim and that's oh, nice. the one that I know. Um, so, which means also you have the end of this as well. Um, so, so it's just ki ahavat arnai. Do you want to try three point one? Ki mahavat ya adonai etre. Um, just mehavat again. Just you, you did the right thing, but you did it nervously. Me ahavat Adonai, vat Adonai. Me ahavat Adonai. Yeah, that was spot on. Okay, with all that, do you want to try without me reading the first line of 3.3, just these, just these three words? Ki im shamo titishmeron. Yeah, great. Uh, fabulous. And then we've got a load of stuff in the way, but the phrase is the same here, following on from that. So it's Tishmoon Ed Kolaha Mitzvah Hazot Ashenochim to Ed Kamasot. Right, let's. Someone want to do three point, someone else want to do three point four. I'll give Lily a break so I think I knew. And then we'll just tackle four. We are a little short on time, so we might do, we might come back to four next week. Um, yeah, so we'll do 3.4. You may recognize this verse, it's a famous one. It is in um, some traditions in Shachwet after um, Shat Hayam. Yeah. Um, I'll just say beforehand on the part that I, think that I don't remember is the 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 um Tunan Miriam Hanavia the Kadma Viasla or I don't remember if it's the same name but that's fine. Vatika Miriam Hanavia Achot Aharon at at beyada. So all of those were spot on um, particular marks, but you, you had some of the wrong way around. Um, <laughs> the so you, you, you switched a few things. I, I don't think I can actually itemize. Um, okay. uh, so you want yeah? So I think you did a pause there that we've not that we're about to do in four on the Tikach, and then you did 
on Maryam Hanavia, and then Ravia on Wait, so What I was going for at the beginning was the ah. Ah, okay, no. So in that case, you did that was Dancers La Gamesh. So da 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 da. That's these oh. two, and ba da. Ba 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 is this? Ba da da, tau sha. Tau sha, ba ti ka. Mirya, Mirya manivya. Yeah, and now we've got um dagatve. Staircase up, staircase down. That's you. You. You're now doing. Yeah, these two and these two are perfect. And also, I want to draw attention to everyone to, and we've got another funny letter here that's worth mentioning. And this is when you have a hey with a dagesh in it, we call the dagesh uh, mapik. And as Naomi was just doing, it said ah. So whereas normally, and we had it here with la sata, normally with a hey at the end, we just go ah, like obviously ah, like haita. If it's a dagesh in it, we go haita. Oh, you wouldn't have haita ever, but we go the ada. La, la sota. Um, another little reading tidbit to note. Okay, um, we're gonna mm, come back to this next week, which is fine because next week we're gonna mainly be recapping everything we've done so far anyway. Um, but let's start on four, where we're adding in the last of the chain, which was and it was half an hour ago that we we did this so let's actually just spend a bit of time just on that one melody And then everything ahead of that, we've done so far. Someone to do, you can stop after the first bit if you want. Someone to do 4.1. I've just done. Yeah, the thing you just hummed was the thing. <laughs> um, uh, but, uh, yeah, I can't remember what you do anymore. Yeah. Hayim Bapav. Um Kol and Asher were spot on and they're the new things. Um so that's 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 the important bit. Um when you've got a really long um were no actually I, I wasn't sure the length it was. Yeah, ruach emphasis is on the ru. So better to go whoa sorry, ruach hayim, rather than ruach hayim. But the melody there was right. It was just the placement. Um, so, call Asher Nishmat Wachayim Be'apav Nishmat Wachayim Be'apav um, Do you want to have another stab or move on to someone else in 4.2? You're cool. Um, can you just... Sorry, this feels like cheating. Can you just do the whole um, phrase? Because something else that is, I think, difficult is linking the Being bits together. Sure, that sure, I sure. do 
I, like I know this bit and then I know this bit but then when I get to the first bit I'm suddenly like ah how do I get yeah, to sure, this sure. experience um, no this is so actually something I've been doing a lot of weeks and I haven't done so much this week is like in, interspersing just like running through quickly so you do hear the whole phrase and I've not actually done that at all yeah um someone want to do 4.2 that was that was much much better well done um and on the actually i was about to say on that we might finish. So if on that we might finish, shall we go to whichever of these looks simplest, which I'm going to say is 4.5. So I want to give us just 4.5 and then we'll finish for the week. Um, Monique, do you want to? You've not gone in a little while? Um, so so you you these two are again all the things you did were spot on tunes but we didn't have them in all the right places so yeah. let's work from the back because you did you did the you did what should have been on ba at the front here ba me benay ba and then these two, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sing them to just la and let you fit them to the word. La, 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 la. Ine, me bene Israel, ba, ba. Same as end of Yisrael. Great, great. And the whole, the, all four words strung together? Five words, sorry, I can't count. Mm. Mm, you, you've, you've switched off from the, uh, the, 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 what's the phrase? Diverted off from the, uh, again. Yeah, ish much better this time. He nay, he nay, Great. Um, that's nine. So I'm gonna let's pause. I know we, we're like stopping while things are still a bit nervous because I don't like doing because then over the course of a week, if things are still a bit nervous, they'll you know dribble out again. Um, so do be like. Um, I don't give you homework or whatever, but if you can look back at this class before next week, do. Um, don't be disheartened because this was definitely the hardest, you know, week five, these were definitely the hardest marks we've met so far. But I do want to show you something just quickly before we, I mean, anyone who needs to go, go, but I just do just want to show you. Um, uh, here we go. So we, we have in seven weeks covered these not you this not you all of these these not you 
all of these, you know, we've covered a hell of a lot of marks in five weeks. Um, so if you're having trouble keeping them all in like memory banks, that's because there's a big old pile of them to keep in your memory banks. So it's very reasonable. We've covered a, a really fantastic amount. The plan for the last two weeks, and this, this is end game now, we're, we're on, the, on the concluding, concluding section. Um, next week is just going to be recap. We're going to try and consolidate, go over as much as possible, hark back the things that we've forgotten from week three and four. We'll spend probably quite a lot on, on our, um, on our, where are they gone? On Pazer and Talsha, just to consolidate them um, from this week. And then we'll, we'll learn a couple of, marks that have slipped through the cracks as it were what we're not going to learn is um the marks that only appear once in the torah i've i've like been thinking about like two weeks left what do you want to spend time on they're, they're like long and melodically complicated and they're very pretty but actually in terms of skills that everyone should leave a, a sort of a that I want everyone to leave the class with, confidently able to read as much as possible is much more important than can sing two specific melody, two, two or three specific melodies that appear only two or three places in the entire. So, so yeah, next week, we'll, a few marks will slip through the cracks, lots of revision, and then the final week, week seven, which is the last Sunday before Rosh Hashanah, what I'd like us to do is, as a class, read through the, the second day Rosh Hashanah tour portion, just taking it a verse each going through the portion. It's a short portion, um, it's only one aliyah from the parsha in which it's found, Vayera, and it's but it's it's fantastic. It is one of my favourite portions of, of of the year. It's the Akedah. I'm very self centered. What can I say? It's all about me. It's all about Isaac. Um, no, but it's it's like not just the Hebrew is gorgeous, but the Tamim are gorgeous. So we'll have a lot to be able to sink our teeth into, like musically as well as story and words wise. So that's the plan for the last couple of weeks. Um, yeah, see you next week. Is anyone again? We've run over, people can, can leave. But does anyone have any questions they want to ask before we, we wind up? Um, great, I'll see you next week. And my email is... Oh, sorry, Monique, was that a question or was that...? I was going to ask, yes, like, what, what do you suggest we do to practice more? I mean, besides going over the class and listening and trying to repeat everything, I mean, are there any other good... Um, so I, th I think reading, like reading does a lot. There's a reason I tend to sort of throw you into the deep end, if that makes sense, with uh, um, reading. Because when you, um, if you're always singing with a recording, then you're not like learning as well. If you're always repeating back, you're not. So even when you don't sort of think you know yet, so I, uh, um, you've got somewhere in this recording, there is me going again and again and again. Lie, 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 lie. So like find that bit of the recording and listen to that a lot. And then um, the reading sheet would be sent as well, but also like pick up a Tanakh. And actually this is a real luxury of now that we've got this far. So in the first few weeks, I was having to scour through to find, to make the reading sheets, to find a verse that you guys are able to read with the marks you've done yet. Actually, where we're at now, you can pick up a Tanakh and you can read most of the verses. In there. There's only a couple of common marks we've not done yet. So um, I would throw yourself in, in that deep end would be my main example. And then afterwards, like find a recording of someone doing it. Daniel Halfon has recorded the full Torah cycle online. Halfon ben Awah, who is, who at least I grew up with as the sort of, um, you know, the elderly, all-knowing Hazan of the community. Whatever. He's recorded just the festival readings, at least. So any, any Aliyah which is read on a hug. So um, 